What up? Welcome to the 38th episode of the Back of the Class podcast. Don't Juan, you're ask. making a face. Don't Woo. even ask. 38? Yes. Ain't nobody. Wayne Gretzky. He's 99. <laughs> No, I thought at least you knew who that was. <laughs> oh, oh my God, you did. Oh my hard. God, that's harsh. You mean Lil Wayne? Who Who's thirty-eight? <laughs> hey, you don't have Come one. Come on, why you got one job on this podcast? Oh, thirty-eight is not a good number to have on your back. <laughs> who would want thirty-eight Dude, on their this, back? This ship is sinking by the episode. Look, 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 oh, check, no. <laughs> check back with me when we hit forty, because I'll give you a ton of forties. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this is the 38th episode of the Back of the Class podcast, as I had already mentioned. I am your host with my other hosts. I am the Esteban Serrano. I'm Zach Dion. I'm Hello. number 38, one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today on the podcast, we got some um, some dope stuff to talk about. This new Eminem record is Bananas, and we're going to oh. get into that. Kanye and Jay-Z might be on the outs. We're going to talk about that. And Jim Jones and Cameron are definitely on the outs, and mm-hmm. we're going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Plus, in the Flex Zone, uh, this new Nintendo that just uh, rocked our world today. And we got some new trailers uh, to talk about. So let's get into all of that right now. Let's not waste any more time, shall we? The new Eminem record. Mm. Juan, you were the first one to, to send it to me, so set it up. I mean, I don't think it's a record. I think it's just like a freestyle, right? Yeah, well, it's, so a what, like, it's a recording. Eight minutes long. Um, I sat there listening to it with my hand over my head. <laughs> yes. Just because, number one, I was trying to keep up. Number two, I was trying to digest every line mm. and still pitch it to the next line. And because some you had to like digest to understand them, like that office line. Yes. Uh, but I was just dumbfounded by some like it's refreshing because when that was the last time we heard anything like that recently at all in rap music yeah exactly we have dope dudes like out right now you know kendrick danny brown like dudes that are lyrical but not just spitting just bar after bar of Mm -hmm. punchline and i blame mixtapes for this problem back when mixtapes were originally conceived artist driven ones artists would get off for a long period of time on like an ill beat or acapella freestyle and mm-hmm. really go in just bars. Mm-hmm. Now, mixtape is like an album and everybody's got original songs and they got singles and they got cameos and features and now it's not a mixtape anymore. Yeah. It's My, just a free album. The mm-hmm. first thing I said to you was, do you imagine being a young rapper today who is kind of popping or popular listening to that just thinking probably like... Quit. Shit, like... <laughs> You should be thinking, quit. Yeah. But like you said, but most of the dudes out now, ain't they're not rappers. Very true. They're not. I did say that. Like, look at the people on top right now. I mean, you could argue Drake raps when he wants to rap, but he's not a rapper. Right. <coughs> Very you know what point. I mean? Yeah. Travis Scott. He's a, yeah, he's, not a, he's yeah, not a rapper. I wouldn't consider him a rapper. I would say Kendrick is a rapper. Yes. I would say... Cole is a rapper. Cole is a rapper. Crit is a rapper. Yeah, but they're not... On top, getting radio play. I mean, except for Kendrick, obviously. Right. Um, I mean, it's just old school, like, M just going fucking ham. And he did not, like, he didn't let a bar go by that wasn't... No, there was no wasted hoist. motion. Uh, he comes in. It sounds like he's already been saying something for about a minute. <laughs> exactly. He comes in. There's The beat is basically a, a sound. <laughs> um, it's just like a drone. It changes up a couple times, but it's just nonstop from, from front to back. He tapes a couple. He lets a bar sink in for like a second a couple times, and that's mm-hmm. it. Right, and for effect. And it was, yeah, the the quality of it all was, like, very And high. it's it timely, not, too. Like, he definitely yeah. talked about current events. Yeah. He uh, he was very vague about, like, people t- talking shit about me. And right. now I'm about to go, you know. And then, which is the best, because it makes you think, like, fuck, who could he possibly? There's this person. There's this person who says shit. Like, the whole Drake stuff that was going on when Drake was going with his stuff with Button, like... Now, how many of these do you think he's recorded over the years that we've never heard? Right. I, I feel like this is something that maybe should have been like on a exercise, cypher somewhere, yeah. and he just didn't... Yeah. Or they didn't call I, him for the cypher, yeah, or it right. fell through, and he said, well, fuck it, I'm gonna put this shit out since I'm not gonna be... Like, did the BT Awards happen already this yeah, year? Yeah, and he wasn't on it, so nope. maybe... I, I told Juan I think he could probably be going in there and doing this every day. Right? Probably. This is, yeah. feels like a writing exercise mm-hmm. before... Like, this is the warm-up. And if mm-hmm. this is a warm-up, 
Holy cow. Because they say, like, the real work happens in the gym. Meaning, like, the practices are where you really, really get to work. And then mm-hmm. when you're out there, you know, performing or doing whatever you're doing, it's not as intense. If this is how this man practices, <clears throat> holy cow. Yeah. I can't even. And Zach did a cool write-up of you, like, quoted some of the best lines. Yeah. My, one of my, I don't know why it's so simple, but when the line about popping shit on my pop shit, <laughs> that whole section was so good because it addresses like, oh he's pop or he's like oh he just makes music for mm-hmm. like it's so good man yeah and he was I like that like Eminem's violent and like nasty streaks have always been there and they've been like varying degrees of bearable and I right. like that he put those onto George Zimmerman yeah. onto mm. Dylan Roof onto these uh, these killers and like these villains right. and he, he just th- threw it right Intro. at them he did say some reprehensible stuff throughout. He's still hanging on to the same slurs. Yes, same, he loves the f bomb, and he loves stuff about women that's uncomfortable. But um, right. But I li- and obviously he talked about uh, Trump and Trump supporters, which I I liked. It was great. But I feel like at this point, those slurs and all that's like it's kind of passe to talk about about him because you already mm-hmm. it's well, been well documented. It's been debated. He's spoken about it. Mm-hmm. People who would be the number one person who should be mad at it or have gone like I don't care like nah I think a lot of I, I mean maybe it's just my like internet circles and like who I work with but I, I think a lot of people have like closed the book on Eminem yeah, yeah. right I think a lot of people are just like man it's, I'm, I'm done with it but oh uh, and but and he, he's working on a new album the little right. part that yeah. that shit was so good part. it made right. everyone forget that he's working right. on a new album yeah. which is great now he does Share my uh, affinity and affection for Molly Curum from First Take. For the Bass Pro Shop, she you mean? She is so fine. She's so hot. That was and I yeah. love to hear that part. I was like, yo! <laughs> She's the one after Sage, right? Sage. Wasn't Sage the one before? Carrie Champion was the one Carrie before. Carrie Champion. I'm thinking about Sage, whatever, yeah. from ESP. Same person, just She's, sports. Yeah. Yeah. You guys yeah. like that shout Bubba Sparks Molly. shout out, though? That was a good that shout out. That was awesome. <laughs> Now that, was, that rolls in. That's good, that's a roll into a. That could be considered a whatever happened to right there. Oh no, we're gonna save that. Yeah, that one was a good one. That's <laughs> a good one. Now, this feet. This what what this freestyle did for me. Really and honestly, confirmed for me beyond a shadow of a doubt. That it's coming. This is the greatest rapper. Period. <laughs> Flex bomb. Period. I'll close on that. Like I'm talking about as an MC, I mis I misquoted myself. Just like the He's craft, not a rapper. The, just as the craft of an yeah. MC. Can I just can I read a little part? Please do. And I'll pretend I didn't like cut my teeth, learn how to memorize Eminem raps when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just I, in the, is this at the beginning? Oh God, I've thrown my pages everywhere. Um, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Um, jumped out of a second floor of a record store with a treacherous four cassette and a cassette recorder in Ecuador with Edward Norton witnessed the metamorphosis of a legend growing like an expert swordsman from the Hessian War and hence the origin of the headless horseman born with the endorphins of a pathetic orphan holy underwear Batman you just you just killed it that's it yeah this is the greatest rapper <laughs> ever and then the ending with the uh, fuck man what was it the throwback like uh i couldn't even throw it back the track even if you 69 the track some shit like that yeah even if you star 69 it and then the pause and he ends it why am i such a dick why yeah such a so dick? good i love that he critiques himself throughout the whole freestyle because he mm-hmm. goes that didn't make any sense <laughs> and then he keeps rapping i love dog yeah. we uh th- this is it cemented and Jay Z is nominated right now for the like Songwriter Hall of Fame this week. Oh. It just came out, but really? who cares? Yes, he's nominated for Songwriter Hall of Fame. I mean, he's got hmm. the most number ones of any solo artist. Sure. Yada yada yada. Of course, he deserves it, earns it. Eminem is the greatest rapper ever, and I'm challenging myself to think of a better one. Of course, we have Rakim, who's a, ma- but his pen. Nas is up mm-hmm. there. Nas is up there writing. I would songs say Nas should go up there before backwards. Jay. Jay has the the edge on sales and I guess right. Well, we know uh, notoriety, but Nas has substance and like forget the songwriter Hall of Fame. We talking about the best rapper ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I always I've always loved Eminem since he he started. Right. Um. I remember like to this day I got that CD off some dude I knew in high school mm-hmm. and I heard it and then I bought my own copy and started fucking making mix it whatever right cool. right i oh biggie has always been my number one right just because his shit changed just the way oh yeah i listened to not even rap just music in general mm-hmm. 
Big L is up there for me oh too. Oh my god, we're playing. But bananas. after, and obviously it sucks that those two didn't get a longer body of work because right. God knows what would have happened. Right. But listening to M's work today, where he's whatever old he is and has been in the game that long, and still what he has on Jay, what I always say, Jay does have. Jay hasn't sounded hungry in a long time. Right. Yeah, this is clear. He sounds cut. like he feels yeah. every word, every yeah. punchline, every bar. Yep. This every was like seventeen year old. Yeah, like this is going like to the he battle. feels that shit. <laughs> this yeah. is rabbit right here. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. So for my money, I'd say he's probably the best to ever do it. So what? did you guys listen to the last one though? I didn't really listen to it. The album? Yeah. The Mar- Marshall Mathers too. Yeah, I, I mean, I listened to it when it came out for like a g- couple of weeks. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stan. I guess you could say yeah, I love. Right. Um, I didn't I think it was his best it work, yeah. but to me, he hasn't put out a shitty album. He hasn't put out a great album. Yeah. In a, I thought Relapse was good, close I, to great. But not I great. really liked Recovery and that Bad I mean, Meets I'm, and Recovery, the Bad yeah, Meets Evil that came right after it. That was like Bad that, Meets Evil was good. That shit. was like the Eminem Renaissance for me. And then Marshall Mathers too. Uh, you know, I was excited about the idea of it, but yeah, it didn't. It didn't I feel like that one kind of suffered from the name when uh-huh. you're just like because yeah. his best work the was cover Marshall art, Mathers LP. Yeah. yeah, that one I think suffered with like oh shit, that's the name. This is probably gonna be the greatest shit to right. ever. And Kendrick was on it, which I think should have been a bigger moment. I I don't even remember that song at sure. all. Wow. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I, this is crazy because if you're Eminem and you come out of the blue, you put out like a fist pump like anthem. You put out a single, right? Um, and he that, has that. He has a formula, man. And it but works this is every not. Time. This is so different, though, to come it out is. of the blue with this. Mm-hmm. And his last thing was that soundtrack last year, that Southpaw movie, where he like teamed up oh, with Gwen Stefani. He made right. like like lightweight, lose yourself kind of songs, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. to come out with this like that, it might hurt him because this is such. You could not have higher expectations now after hearing that. For for super hardcore fans. Yeah. Because there's a lot of Eminem fans, air quotes, who've never heard this and probably won't. Hmm. Because they're only, if it's not on iTunes or hmm. if it's not on Apple Music or if it's not, you know, on Vimeo or, you know, Vivo or whatever, they're not going to find it. I'm confused. We're nerds. We're going to find it's on this YouTube stuff. and his Twitter. Yeah, but they're not. They're not. They're casual fans. They're, they're in mm. the now. They know. They hear the radio and oh, Eminem's got an album. Got not. They are not us. Mm. <laughs> this We're Eminem f- guy's pretty good, huh? Right. Exactly. I bet. This Case is- in point. I was w- me and um, Malika were talking about Malika's a coworker here. Yeah. Fuse talking Rap about head. this record. And, and she's someone from Detroit. turned around yeah. and said, "Are you guys talking about the new Eminem caramel?" Caramel. Yes, Eminem the candy has released a caramel flavor. Oh for the no! Holiday. That's how podcast over people would be. <laughs> the like, office is they don't even it. know who we talking oh. about around here, man. Oh wow! There's some of those. I would. I have a feeling this will be like one of the most heard rappiest songs, uh, uh, maybe ever. Like I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I just. We should go look at the views. I mean, it's I really must have hope, so many. And yeah, I, but we've uh, how many times have you listened to it? Eight. I don't how know. How many times have you listened? Probably to like it? around eight. So already in this room, we've listened to it thirty-four times. Those views are not a representative <laughs> of yeah. people. My my right thing is, I repeats. would love to hear and see the reaction from because when he put out Rap God and people were going ape shit about Rap God and the, that's a good song. The too. setting the record for most words per whatever the hell it was, right. or longest whatever, mm-hmm. and then people like. Earl Sweatshirt, like, Eminem's washed up. Like, everybody's losing their shit about Rap God, and that shit is, like, nothing. And it's, like, which it was stupid because of him to say that shit. Because I'm like, <laughs> okay, enlighten me. Show me what you would do but on same beat. Let me see how much you would rap to that beat. And then I would love to see him listen to that shit for the first time and then turn on and be like, yeah, he's washed up, bro. No. No. R.I.P. This is this is bullet this is a bulletproof song, I think. And unless you again are, are just reminded like why can't Eminem grow that's up? That's the and then, then, then that's maybe the case in out, point why nobody goes at him. Mm. He could put out What do you mean, man? Oh. The cannon came all the way for his neck, bro. <laughs> we never heard the rest of that either. <laughs> because Eminem did not no, give it any it burn. Nothing. Yeah. He didn't care. Well, I could not be more excited. How do you guys know how old he is? Off the off M's the in his forties. I know that because he says it in the song. He says he's a forty-year-old something. So he's definitely in his forties. Yeah, I would guess he's like forty-two or three, maybe. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Man, the greatest rapper of all time. Oh my God! Eminem. Proclaimed. I'm gonna look it up right now, guys. It's uh, four it seconds away. Three million views in the first day. So See, that's that's pretty hot. 
Yeah, so I'd say on average, if everyone's listened to it eight times, right. it's still not a million 800, people. 800,000 or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, all right. Oh, man, but moving on to, um, Zach, you kind of put this on my radar. Yeah. Kanye so. last night, uh, he was in Seattle. Sorry, we taped Thursdays. Wednesday night in Seattle, Kanye um, was on stage doing the Pablo tour, which he just added like 25 dates to. Nice. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, and he was he's really mad about Apple and Tidal stuff. Um, he said it's why him and Jay weren't, uh, why he and Jay weren't on views on pop style because of Apple shit. Wow. He, so there was that, that stuff was kind of vague. He was like, I get so mad every time I perform this song because I didn't get to be on the record and stuff. Um, but the real takeaway was like, he was saying some stuff about Jay Z, just like sliding it in there. He said, Jay didn't want to do the song because he didn't, because he wanted to respect Meek Mill. Which is like I don't what? think I don't think you say that for for for, for Jay Z domain yeah, yeah 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 but on an, on that note Meek is represented by Rock Nation right so he's a Rock Nation artist so right. I can understand him not wanting to align himself with Drake when his artist is in the beef right now yeah, clearly. yeah I guess that makes but sense. I didn't I didn't even remember that or maybe note it because then I saw people like oh great like Jay standing up for his artist so I, at first I was just like why why does he care why is he taking Meek Mill's side yeah but the the bigger thing to me, well, uh, sorry, I buried the lead. The biggest thing is he said, "Watch the throne two will never happen mm. because of this experience with pop style." That's like what wow. he pins it on. But then he also says, he says, my he said our kids have never played together, which is like, damn. Yo, not only is that like, yeah. is that like, you know. I don't have a name for it. I'm thinking like fantasy football with star kids. <laughs> Not only is that everybody who's into that stuff's like biggest disappointment, but that's just like, man, like they've had, I think North is like three or something. They've had a long time yeah. for that. And like, it's always been, it, I don't think they've ever been really like friend friends. Like right. I think when they made Watch the Throne and when they went on the tour, they like spent yeah, it's infinitely always, more time together than they I ever always had. got the impression with them that it's always been about business. Yeah. Since Kanye first even came in the game, right. I think for Jay it was always about mm -hmm. business, and for Ye it was always about mm -hmm. personal admiration for his idol i could not agree that more. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and then i mean big brother is like the yeah. perfect right. example Absolutely. of the song he made like mm -hmm. they have views on their relationship that are very different yeah. and i think finally kind is like yo i'm done yeah because i also feel like this whole apple thing with it not being on itunes left a lot of money on the table for kanye mm -hmm. right right because you still to this day you can't get on itunes i think you can no you can now i i've tried no you to can. get pablo yeah hmm. I've searched on iTunes and it's still not there. You know how to spell know. Pablo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I have titles, so I don't, I'm not um, missing anything. Well, that's the thing. Like, I could see I mean, whether it's there today. It wasn't there mm -hmm. when it came out. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, it wasn't no, there it wasn't for there a very for a long good, time. Good minute, that's money right. left on the table because your boy wants to push his brand and his company, which is understandable. Right. But you're caught in the middle. Like, yo, there's this, this is a bunch no, of money. No, let's I'm be clear on, the, on another thing, right? So, the, the, the mindset behind being an exclusive. Title or or Apple Music or whatever is that these brands are paying these artists more money for the exclusivity than they would be making from the actual sales of these projects. Hmm. Nobody's buying music anymore. So if Apple is going to give me two million dollars for to have this exclusive, when I'll actual in actuality I'll only make you know five hundred thousand off of this album, then that's four times what I'm going to see mm -hmm. if and even if it's a successful album sales cycle so that's where their thought process mind you artists still make the majority of their money on tour yep. apple don't have any title doesn't have any involvement in, in any of these touring unless you're a rock nation artist and they go through you know live nation venues and yada 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 but that's too insider and deep cut but still not on itunes still not on wow, iTunes. all right so uh, we i should have put one more factor into here before Hit we start it. talking about jang honey because this is I think the coldest one. Um, he said, and I'm going to get this one right. This is a straight quote. He said, you want to know how? He said, Jay-Z called me up after the robbery. He said, the robbery. Um, and asked how I was doing. And he said, and this is where the quote starts. He said, you want to know how I'm feeling? Come by the house. Bring the kids by the house like we brothers. Let's sit down. Wow. That's, that's, that's swinging hard. That's like... Again. This, was, this was not the right forum. He... See, he, he <laughs> 
In his eyes, he has a relationship with Jay Z that Jay Z in his eyes doesn't have a relationship with Dog, Kanye. My whole life, my whole entire life, I've had relationships with women where I was their boyfriend and they were not my girlfriend. <laughs> this is, is one of those mm. relationships. Kanye makes a song called Big Brother because mm. he sees Jay Z as a big brother. Yeah. Jay Z sees Kanye as an artist. Mm-hmm. He said a lot of big lines about Kanye, though. Yeah, yeah but, but that was because look, he also said, and this is Juan's favorite quote about J- about Memphis Bleak. As long as I'm alive, he's a millionaire, mm-hmm. so he can just kick back and chill somewhere. Because when I die, he's probably in my will somewhere. Yeah, like hello. And Bleak just filed for bankruptcy not too long ago. So clearly, that's some. And rap last time shit. I checked, Jay Z's still alive. Exactly. So and even when he dies, he's in his will. Come on, man. Why do you think Jay wouldn't be his friend? Friend. I think Kanye is one of those clingy friends. He's a lot. That you that that demands a lot of your attention. And and this also kind of plays into the the, the duality of Kanye, where he is at 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 the same time as being the greatest genius Walt Disney Steve Jobs he's this super insecure needing to be confirmed mm-hmm. you know like like you know not very confident you mm-hmm. ultra confident and not confident mm-hmm. at the same time mm-hmm. I I also feel like Jay-Z has a very big ego and I from the stories that Jay's told in the songs and the stories that I've read about mm. I think to some extent Jay sometimes not threatened, but he does feel like Ye does outshine him a little bit in some aspects. Yeah. So I feel like his ego is pretty big sometimes where he is just like I think Ye does shit to get his admiration and he won't give it to him out of ego because he knows that if he does, mm. he'll get confidence and know he's as good, better, or more relevant right. than Jay Z. Well, is. way more relevant. I mean, that's I think we've all had this relationship where like you have a creative friend and you're hanging out and they're just like way more on than you at this point right. in your life and it's like, it can be kind of weird. You have to be really good friends to be able yeah. to I think with Jay, hang out with ego them plays because, a big part. Yeah. So if you're the guy who just made Magna Carta and you're hanging out with the guy who literally has run the whole fucking year, right. that's a that's weird. Now here's <laughs> another thing. Jay Z is a student of the 48 Laws of Power. One of the biggest laws in there is don't ever outshine the master. So Jay-Z is the master. Mm. So Kanye can never outshine him. Mm. Jay-Z has to make sure in order for him to hold all the power, and for Kanye, the power is the cosign and the, the you know, the 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 rite of passage of Jay-Z, if Jay never gives it to him, then Jay keeps the power. Mm. Like so said, that's why yeah. he curbs him all like the I said, time. That's, that's why he does that. ego yeah. shit. He does it's not ego. It's power for him. Yeah. Pa- dude, I- as long as I let... Power as long equals as Kanye ego. West thinks that he's not on Jay-Z's level, then he can be used by Jay-Z in any way But what does having power feed? What does having power feed? I'm not feed? talking about... He's talking about like an actual like objective, the well, amount yes, of power his, that He's playing chess. Not his feelings. He's not in his feelings. He's yeah. playing chess. Yeah. He if does that I with Nicki Minaj. Kanye, and Kanye needs this from me, yeah. then here it is. I forget what that... Ah, that, 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 uh, Jay-Z says it in one of his um, verses on Magna Carta. He said, if fear is your only God, then getting you to fear me is my only job. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He does he this with understands. Nicki, too. He, ne- he has never mentioned her. Right. Um, like, at all. Right. <laughs> it's like, he Be- does and that. And he's, he's keeping them at bay. Mm-hmm. Checking them because he knows that they want his spot. Not only if they've outgrown his spot, surpassed his spot at this point, but come on, man, that man is brilliant. All Regardless right. of what you want to say about him, I'm not a big Jay Z fan in terms of hip hop. He's not in my top ten. Mm-hmm. However, he's one of the most brilliant MFers yeah. on this planet yeah. when it comes to how he be playing these little dudes. Yeah. Lil Wayne, he's on a record with, with Lil Wayne. He's on the hook. He's Drake on the hook. Kid Cudi on the hook. Anytime there's a hot rapper out, he's on a Jay-Z record mm-hmm. on the hook. Mm-hmm. Jay ain't letting you rap. He learned from Eminem when he bodied him on, on uh, yeah. Renegade. He's never ever, going to rap with anybody again. I think ever since that. Except I mean, they did the, the uh, him, and, didn't, right. him and Nas did something together, didn't they? Yeah, Black Republican. There you go. 
on American Gangster, right? Uh, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, yeah it was American, American Gangster. All right. Well, I, this I could talk about this all day. Yeah, like, I love too. this. Um, but That's just real quick, percentage chance that Jay would actually come at Kanye, whether it's a line or bigger. Zero. Zero percent Zero for you guys. Percent. I think there's like a three percent. You think? <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't think just so. Just because I want to, I, I want to see him, that world. <laughs> I think to him it's just Kanye being Kanye. Yeah, and he knows that, oh, and yeah. he's letting but him isn't ride. It, but isn't it funny? Like, look at the ladder of Kid Cudi saying shit about Kanye, and Kanye taking the high. Like, right? Yo, I hope he's okay. Right. I got mad well, love for Cudi, and now Ye's talking all this shit about Jay and Jay. That's unusual because usually he's screaming respect your OG at them. Right. That. And now like, he's it's <laughs> it's interesting. It's very interesting. That it is. Now, we got to get into this next topic, man. So, one of the budding MCs of New York City right now is Dave East. Hands down, he just dropped his album. It's actually a really good project. Check it out. Co-signed by Nas. He's on Mass Appeal Records. Sends out an Instagram post last night that says... When Mr. Cameron... This is his at. When Cameron passes the torch, it's no better feeling. Hashtag Harlem forever, sex, drugs, and entertainment. To which Jim Jones, also Harlem native, responds, laugh out loud. The torch, laugh out loud. Tell him make you dip set, laugh out loud. Then Cam responds, at Jim Jones, nah, I'm good, Jomo. That's his nickname for Jim Jones. You can't be getting money, you always watching me. How's your reality show doing? And then Cam again. Matter of fact, Jomo Max B is coming home, and Max B had mad beef with Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. And he goes, make him dip set. Mm -hmm. And then mad waves, because Max B is the wave. Yeah, the wave god. And then Cam again. Yo, consecutive comments. He goes, couldn't stop. Matter of fact, Jomo, tell Dave East how you be telling niggas he ain't from Harlem, but you want to shoot videos with him in Harlem at Dave East. Curve that nigga. He does. He don't really fuck with you. Hashtag word to bloodshed, Man. which is his homie. So it's crazy to like go at another veteran on the behalf of a new guy. Yo, I just love that all this stuff goes on. Not in radio shows like back in the day, <laughs> yeah. calling into flags or yeah, calling right. into you know. Oh, was it Facebook? Yeah. Instagram? It, it was IG. Instagram. Yeah, okay. Like going at it, it's and not just, even on posts. It's hilarious. They're in the comments of someone else's Instagram. Talking back and forth. Can we get a new segment, Insta Beef? Insta Beef. Every week? Yes. <laughs> Listen, if I have to pick a side, I'm always going Cameron's side. Killer! Because I love, I love Cameron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Cam, man. Yo, I mean, this hurts my heart because when I first moved here in 2005, I moved to Harlem. I loved my time that I lived in Harlem. I would go to 125th Street, and when I tell you, it was it felt like a Dipset Ville. Like they should have renamed that whole <laughs> borough. Like everybody was bumping Dipset. You know, it was just mad love for them. That that crew is so iconic for a lot of different reasons. In my opinion, one of the first ones just really go hard with merch and collabs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Really build their independent stable. Oh, yeah, those shirts were mixtapes, like all of that stuff. To see that squad, like especially the two, you know, pillars of the of the crew kind of come at one another, it's tough to watch, man. It's like it's like when your 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 uncles don't like each other. They fighting over something. Yeah. Like, damn, like but I love Cam and I love Jim and it was like their family. It was it's so hard to see, man. Like I hope that they can get, you know It's only on Instagram for now, so we'll <laughs> see. Maybe it'll fizzle. I don't know, There's man. There's no reply, though? No, no, no. No no reply, no update as of right now. So, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just hurt by this. You guys don't seem to feel my pain whatsoever. No, it's... it's we, yeah, not a, lot, not, a lot of harmon- <laughs> not a lot of harmony between the They've been going back and forth, like, in different times or another in the last few... Since Dipset kind of fell off, I guess you could say. Right, and then they always make up, or they just stay away from each other and don't mention each other's names, and they come back and they're cool. Then this happens. So like, what what concert recently happened that that Drake that, and Future, Drake and Future, that yeah. Dipset came out without say. Jim Jones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man, I remember when Fifty did that those five five concerts in five boroughs, and he bought Cameron out and Jim and um 
and Jewels, but no Jim Jones. Because Cam's man. the one that raps and that. But Jimmy raps balling was one of the biggest. Yeah, records. but he doesn't rap that Cameron raps. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like if like if it was like if it was like if Dip Show was a fucking sitcom, you would watch it for Cam, not for Jim Jones. Jim Jones would be like, now I watch it for Freaky Second Ziki. Fiddle. Well, yeah, Freaky that's Ziki is is great television. Why didn't the, Why didn't they make a show called Dip Show? That's they perfect. Because <laughs> they're not giving Cam enough money. Yeah. They all Cam has said it. They, they've they've approached him for years about doing like a love and hip hop type show. He's like, but I'm not going to be around a bunch of bum rappers, mm. and you're not giving me enough money. So. I don't know, man. Just, I guess, m- the Harlem in me hates to see something like this. And then how does Dave East feel? Like, this is going down in his comments. Sucks for him because he's caught in the middle. He don't right. want to disrespect either one. Right. He's smart. Right. He'll just play it, just be like, yo, right. Right. my don't name is Paul, fight, and this guys. is between y'all. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Paul, and this is between y'all. Don't fight. Today was the, the day of trailers, man. Today, we sh- we're recording this Thursday, the What's today? The twentieth. Um, it is. So we 20th. got today alone. We got the Logan trailer for the next Wolverine movie. Final. The final trailer, right? Uh, final got, movie. Final movie. Yeah. We got the Nintendo unveiling their next console. And that was a trailer. Yeah. A yeah. long ass <laughs> thing. A long trailer. And then yesterday, last night rather, yesterday evening, we got the Guardians of the Galaxy two trailer teaser. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was so funny because James Gunn tweeted out. He's like, trailers on the...